Join our hosts as they step aboard the Belzona 27cc, a fishing-oriented center console that does not sacrifice style or amenities. The Belzona 27cc has an overall length of 27 feet 2 inches, a beam of 9 feet 4 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 450. Built to keep offshore anglers comfortable, she has a draft of 20 inches, a dead rise of 21.5 degrees, a weight of 6,500 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 200 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Guys, on this gorgeous morning, we are on the Belzona 27cc. This model is a departure from the Belzonas we've seen in the past. Rick, you're absolutely right. I can remember, was it two years ago, we shot Belizona, and all I can remember was the comfort features and how great that boat was set up to be comfortable. Well, coming from that boat onto here, we still have all those features, but I gotta tell you, she's set up to go fishing. Well, I'm certainly comfortable right here, but we're on a fishing boat, we got baits in the live well, and there's some stuff going on around us. What do you say we do a little fishing right here? Now the 27 foot center console is actually the same hull as their 27 walk around and for Bell's owner to try and make a move into the pure fishing market, I actually think it's a great move for them. I mean this is a boat that a lot of people love because of their style, but there's going to be a lot of people that really demand more fishability in a boat. If this is the direction that Bell's owner is taking their company, they're going to bring us more fish friendly models. I for one am very interested to see where that heads. Now the 27cc Belzona is a very capable offshore fishing boat and a very capable offshore weather boat as well. The boat's max rated for 450 horsepower and carries 200 gallons of fuel, but more impressively than all that is the fact that this boat is a 500 mile range. This boat featured an upgrade which I thought was very cool, a carbon fiber dashboard and a carbon fiber tilt steering wheel, a very classy package. Now, I'm a big fan of the three-sided glass enclosure for a windshield on this boat. They offered it that way, but they also offer it without a windshield and with a wrapped polycarbonate one-piece as well. You know, Belzona's been bringing us boats for years now, and they've all had a lot of amenities, and a lot of them were in the cockpit. We've seen grills in the cockpit, sinks. Hey, as an old charter boat mate, let me tell you what I appreciate it, a tackle station right at the back of the helm seat. That means all you had to do is turn around, grab the tray you needed, close the door, and you can switch lines, switch lures in a heartbeat. The transom seating today was really nice. And what stuck out to me was a lot of the times the transom seating will take two people to set down. You'll have buttons and it makes it a little bit more complicated. What I really enjoyed about this transom seating today is that the legs were just like a table pop up the legs and the bench just easily fell down into the place in the transom, opening up the fishing platform. Why do a live wells? Well, I'll tell you why. When we're on a hot bite, I'm not going over to push somebody out of the way so I can get to the live well and get my next bait. You've got your baits in your corner, I've got my baits in mine. Oh, by the way, I probably picked out the best ones for myself. This boat had amazing storage. You had storage under your bow seating, you had storage on the floorboard up at the bow, and then taking that storage all the way to the console. This console had so much room in it for all my bags, coolers, miscellaneous items, you name it, I could store it on this boat. Now something immediately recognizable on all the Belzona boats is their patented dive door, their side entry door. The previous models of this boat have a sliding door that you'd know immediately when you saw it and you could easily tell that it was a Belzona. This boat features a new design that they call a jumper door. Now this door opens on an articulating motion and the door is actually built out of carbon fiber. It's very light, so it's not gonna crush your toes or fingers. It's really easy to operate and this, it, more importantly, it provides real quick access to the water and boarding on and off at the dock. It's just a great design. They really did a great job bringing in fishing features without taking away from the classic Belzona sexy sleek look. George, Rick, you know what I really liked about today? We got to show this Belzona in its true form. It was rough out there today. We were rocking and rolling, and I think when you film a boat, it's so important to show the boat in some rough seas. Let's see what she can do. And she held up great. I had a great day. I did too, and for starters, I love this size range. This boat felt big. Does that make sense to you? I was perfectly comfortable in the choppy water. I tell you where it exceeded my expectations. It had so much real estate. This is a wide open fishing machine from a great boat company. 
Yeah, you know what guys, I mean, I know it was Belzona's intention to appeal more to the fishing crowd, and trying to combine comfort features like they all have with fishing can get a little bit dicey. I think they definitely hit the mark. This boat was real fishable, and we've gotten a chance to relax on it, and it hasn't let me down there. I think this should be a real popular boat for these guys. You know, over the years, we've done a few Belzonas, and they all had the same thing in common. They were luxurious, they had great creature comforts. This is a fishing boat, make no mistake about it, but it is 100% pure Belzona.